Hi everyone, welcome back to another Sean's World video. Sun's out, I think I'll come out and join you. Nice to see it stop raining. Okay, I think I'm going to take advantage of the weather for the time being. I don't suppose it will hold up for much longer. Anyway, it's dry now. Um, I'm going to go over to the uh, planting area where I've started growing the willow structure. And yeah, we're going to start putting some diagonals in and getting the, the structure all tied together. Hence the rope. So yeah, I've got to take advantage of the weather. Um, they need to go in the ground now really, so it never, you know, an early start to start growing. I've showed Sam by the way, yeah, she was over the moon with it, so yeah. Very, very happy. I also need to find a bench to go in there, so I've got one in mind. I have a measure up and I'll see you over there. Close. Might be okay. And yes, that reminds me, I must fit Sam's living room window in at some stage. Perfect. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Time it tapers in a little bit to there. Always bring it forward a fraction. things you like this. I certainly do. So I think what I'll do next is put some horizontal pieces around, tie that together so that the structure is nice and rigid and then we're going to plant thinner pieces what they call whips at 45 degree angles opposing each other that way you get a good uniformed growth pattern. That's the plan. I'll get me pruners. We'll get started. Hope that rain holds off. Just need to get a feel there's no right or wrong place to put these really but you just get a feel where it should go you know look at the thing it's got a natural curve in it if there's any little side shoots that you can attach it to because it'll all grow green touch wood hopefully and uh, yeah just have fun with it really so we're gonna go with the horizontal all the way around then we'll start working down into the ground upwards. That's yeah, one. Should also put my glasses on because there's quite a few sharp edges. These can grow probably up to two to three foot a year in the right conditions. Probably the tallest, probably 30 meters. They're big, uh, they're big trees by the way, you know, they don't last forever these sort of trees. Um, 15 to 30 years maybe. It depends on climate and conditions. Yeah, that's taking shape. Right, I've got two little spurs sticking out now for this piece. 
trim it off afterwards. But yeah, start tying it together. As this is developing, now don't forget most of this is just up here at the moment, I kind of look at the design, think to myself what do we want to use it for, do we want to sit out here when it's raining in it, in the sun, you know, all them sort of considerations, I'm thinking okay, I'm going to plant some willow, they might take a year or two to even get to here, which leaves this big space at the top, these might not even take. If they do, there's still a big opening. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, well I'm going to put another cross piece above there and kind of create window sections. And in this half here, what I think I'll do in the top above the cross pieces is maybe line it with something waterproof like plastic down the back there, some sort of covering. So at least when we sit here, if it's raining, we won't get wet. And also, for the window openings as such, I might buy some split bamboo or hazel. They're like um, sort of loose fence panels, if you like. You can stake them to whatever shape you like and sort of roll them up and down so we can open them or shut them. Oh yeah, that's just one idea I've got bouncing around in my head at the moment. But whatever I'm going to do, I am going to put some cross pieces around. Yeah, it's evolving. Who knows where we'll end up? <laughs> now the tree willow itself dates back to oh, too long ago for me to even recall, but it's from China. Now there was a recording of a fishing basket. 3,500 BC. I hope I got that right. I'm sure that's what I read, but yeah, it's been used for centuries, you know, thousands of years. Now it's used for cricket bats and uh, all sorts of things, really. Furniture, toys, medicinal uses. So yeah, quite a versatile thing. Okay, this one cross piece. Now it can also be grown for biomass fuel. It doesn't burn as hot as other woods, but because it's quick growing, once you get the moisture down, yeah, I know people that do plant this up for a sustainable fuel supply. Did think of it myself actually, because of the ground conditions. We certainly need a shelter in this position because it's right on the very edge, it's very open. Depending on what way the wind blows, you do need a bit of shelter. You know, and don't forget this was all waste material. You probably got sort of burnt or some other use for it, but you know, if we don't like the design, we'll just take it down. But you know, so far so good. Apart from that, <laughs> just cut the wrong bit. Oh, okay, you must pay attention. That's why I always leave a little bit of overhang. Those times where you just cut it too short. So that is the basic framework for our structure. On to the next stage. What I need to do now is find some pieces like this, trim them up, and they will be inserted into the soil probably about eight inches down at a 45 degree angle like so. And they're just gonna go just here. I'll find something to make a, a hole into the ground. Insert these in at 45 degree angles that way and then 45 that way. Interweave them together and hopefully these are the whips that should sprout. We'll see. OK, 
Okay, let's go and find some branches. Gonna need quite a few. Maybe every sort of six inches. Six to eight. Hold down. And then we'll cut these bottom sections. 45 degree, thereabouts. And we'll tie them off at the top. So I think the idea is to trim them up. And then what I'm gonna do, once it gets to the top, I'm just gonna weave them across this horizontal just to tie them off. Hopefully that will grow grow round. That's a little bit fiddly. Very organic. Just wrap them round and then afterwards I'll just trim them up. Nothing complicated really. I think something like this sort of size is probably the best for planting. It's not that thick. You know. But hey, I'm using what I've got. We'll just have to see. The worst way is just a nice structure. We can grow other stuff up here. But I think this will take. Time will tell. I mean the other thing we could do as well is is buy some different colour willow, like a red. Yeah they do some quite striking colours actually. So yeah, if this doesn't take, all I'll do later on is I'll buy some whips, especially grown for this purpose, and I'll just stick them in the ground. Either way, it will grow. Whatever I put in here, eventually it will grow and it will cover all this. Yeah, that's the plan. It's also very important in the ground, whether you're planting these, to make sure it is weed free. Now I'm gonna put some sort of suppressant down inside maybe some bark chip and then outside I'm going to leave it open initially to see what comes up and then I'll pull it out and then eventually I'll cover it in with something I mean, the only reservations I have about it is whether or not it's going to grow. I do question the quality of some of the whips I'm having to use, but they're not costing me anything, so it's not too bad. I may have placed the spacings a little bit closer than maybe what I should have done. We will see. It's an experiment. Very rustic one. Thank you. 
it literally is taking shape. It's a slow process but an enjoyable one. I've just made these round circular windows. Like I say, we're going to have some um, panels on the top that can be unrolled, but they'll be fixed above this point. So basically we can just open and shut these areas so we can see out different times of the day. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's evolving. It's very enjoyable to do. Nice to get outside, although it is bitterly cold today. The wind's changed direction and it's very, very cold, so yeah, that's why I've got my hood up. Yeah, I'm running out of material now. The amount of limbs that I've chopped off the willows, I'm kind of, yeah, not got too much choice now, but yeah, just taking a little bit longer. Yeah, it's coming together. Pleased with this. Sam did see it, by the way, and yeah, she was very, very pleased. Originally, we was going to go for something um, a little bit sort of more neat, not so naturalistic like this, but I think it'll fit in with the scheme that we're going to do. I'm going to have some uh, walled sections built up, so it looks like a, a bit of a folly, you know, as if there was a building here that collapsed, still the remnants of the stonework, maybe some arches and things like that in it, so yeah. Nevertheless, we still need somewhere to sit down, because so we're going to make this end waterproof so obviously once we sit down it's raining we ain't gonna get wet so yeah I think this will be a very very interesting interesting space indeed it's already it's already feeling like that for sure I'll take that green rope off and have a trim up you know but you just gotta start somewhere and get your shape right like I say if these don't grow it's still a nice space we can grow other things up it yeah, I'm sure some of it will. If it don't, like I said, I'll buy some, stick them in the ground and they'll grow. Some of these, I'm not so sure. You know, some of them might be sort of half dead, you know. But hey, it doesn't cost me nothing, apart from a bit of time. Yeah, the focus in the next few videos will be more about the cottage work. I've had to ease back from the cottage for a little while because I just irritated me back again a little bit. So I'm still all right, but yeah, I couldn't do the heavy stuff in the cottage. So hence I'll come out here. Not that this is light work, but it's just a little bit sort of different to what I've been doing. So yeah, more in the cottage to come. Okay, that is it for this video. I'm going to continue with this and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.